Welcome to another James Explains video, where we're again looking at one of Matt Parker's maths puzzles. This is the David and Anton age puzzle, which has by far the most convoluted wording of any age puzzle I've ever seen. It goes like this. David and Anton's ages combined equals 65. David is currently three times as old as Anton was when David was half as old as Anton will be when Anton is three times as old as David was when David was three times as old as Anton. You can see by the colouring of the text that there are four different time frames referred to, which is what makes this puzzle more complicated than normal age puzzles. To start off with, we want to try and get as much information as possible about their ages. Other than what is in the puzzle, the only other given is that they have a constant age difference, which we will represent as x. As soon as we work this out, we can get both of their ages straight away. So for now, we will start off at the end of the puzzle. I find this is the easiest place to start for these puzzles, as every age stated earlier is defined as an age described later in the puzzle. The final age described is that David was three times as old as Anton. As mentioned earlier, we have the difference in their age of x, so we can define Anton's age as David's age minus the difference. We could then substitute Anton's age in the bottom formula with the equation we used to define it in the top formula. And we now describe David's age as 3 times David's age minus the difference. Because we don't want David's age on both sides of the equation, we can expand the brackets on the right side, then take 3 times David's age from both sides, and divide both sides by negative 2. And we can see that David's age in this final time frame is 3 on 2 times the age difference. Moving to the preceding time frame, we want to get Anton's age when he will be three times David's age in the final time frame. We can put aside the current formula for now and represent Anton's age in this time frame as three times David's age. Again, we can substitute David's age in this formula with a definition from the previous formula and we have Anton's age being three times three on two times the age difference. We can further simplify this to be 9 on 2 times the age difference. Next, we want to know David's age when he was half of Anton's age for this time frame. We can skip through this a bit faster and divide both sides by 2 and replace half Anton's age with David's age. So we can see that his age is represented as 9 on 4 times the age difference. From here, the comparison becomes a little more complicated again. So far, we have only looked at the age David was when David and Anton will be when Anton, but now we need to know Anton's age at the same time as David's age. We can take our formula from earlier, describing Anton's age as David's age minus the difference, and if we subtract the age difference from both sides of the current equation, we can then substitute Anton's age for the left side of the equation to get the age Anton was. Finally, for this part of the puzzle, we know that David is currently three times as old as Anton was in this time frame. We can multiply both sides by 3, and we can now take the left side, which is 3 times Anton's age, and replace it with David's current age. Once we expand the brackets, and take 3x from 37 on 4x, we have David's current age being equal to 15 on 4 times the age difference. We can put this equation to the side for now, and look at the very first sentence in the puzzle, which tells us that David and Anton's ages combined equal 65. We can represent this as a simple equation of David's age plus Anton's age equaling 65, and as we've mentioned previously, we can replace Anton's age with David's age minus the age difference. We can start by simplifying this as 2 times David's age minus the age difference equals 65. Add the age difference to both sides, then divide both sides by 2, and now we have two equations that both describe David's current age. We can substitute one for the other, and are now left with the only variable being the age difference. If we multiply both sides by 2, take the difference from both sides, multiply through by 2 again, and divide by 13, we get the difference in their ages being 10 of whatever units of measurement we are using. We can now look at David's current age defined by this formula, add in the value of x, and work out that David's age is 150 on 4, or 37.5 units of time. I definitely enjoyed this puzzle, 
although I was thrown off at first because the puzzles page originally said that all ages were whole numbers. So my first solution was a spreadsheet of all David's possible ages between 0 and 65. I worked forwards through the puzzle wording to see which row would end up with an age difference the same as at the start. But when none of them worked out, I switched to this approach where I worked from the end of the puzzle and defined their ages at each stage from just the age difference. The key to having these puzzles work is to be able to find the age two different ways and then use simultaneous equations to work out what the age difference between the two people is. In this puzzle, we are given one definition where the current ages combined equal 65 and a second, much more wordy description defining David's current age. The challenge is to try to clarify these wordy descriptions into equations, then do the working out from there to get a final answer. But when is this not a puzzle? If we take the later example from the video, where instead of saying their combined ages are 65, the only other information we're given is that Anton's age is a prime, can we still work it out? Given that the second half of the puzzle has not changed, we can still define David's age as 15 on 4 times their age difference. But what we need to find is Anton's age. We can take our formula for Anton's age from earlier too, and we can say that at the same time, Anton's age can be defined as 11 on 4 times the age difference. But now, the only other information we have is that Anton's age is a prime. With no other constraints, we cannot have a single answer for this puzzle. For instance, we could just pick a random prime number of 7. We can restructure this formula to give us a rational value for the age difference, and add this age difference to Anton's age to get David's age, which can be represented as 105 on 11. However, we could also take a different prime number, such as 2 to the power of 82,589,933 minus 1. We can restructure this again to get the age difference, and add the age difference to Anton's age to get David's current age, which is… a number at least. But this goes to show that only giving us the information that Anton's age is a prime, and the complicated description for David's age, there is no single answer, and therefore this could not be considered a puzzle. If you'd like to see the original puzzle for yourself, or any other puzzles like it, visit thinkmaths.co.uk slash mathspuzzles. And as always, Thanks for watching.